Highland Dancing and YouTube world, this is Jana with DG the Amazing Highland Dancing Monkey. And I'm in my jig dress and it's like one of those reversible ones. So I'm not wearing my cummerbund because I took it off without thinking that I was going to make a vlog. But uh, yeah, so uh, today I had a dance out and I'm going to have another dance out soon. But I will get into all that later. Um, my fix six list is mainly everything the balls of my feet. So, I'm, I'm really, I'm going to fix it. Like, I want to make like three out of six of my fix six list the balls of my feet. Because everything that's on my fix six list would probably be fixed if it was for the ball, if it, if it wasn't for the balls of my feet being an issue. Well, balls of my feet and half points. So, all of this is under the umbrella of being on the balls of my feet. So patty boss, balls of my feet, half points. Open patty boss, again, balls of my feet, half points. Back steps, yes, balls of my feet, but um, getting my toes crunched under, you know, my knee and perfectly in place. Uh, fling shakes, um, mainly balls of my feet, but getting the second back, the toe light, you know, not assembling and stuff. And that was five, right? I don't know. I think that was five. And number six is my crossover. Because that just, my crossover sucks. Immensely. <laughs> like, I'm really bad at that step. If it wasn't for this stupid travel, it wouldn't be an issue. But when I was, uh, 14? I think I was 14, but anyways, um, I was doing that step in class, and I went to do the crossover, and I fell, and I don't even really remember what happened, I just remember going to do the crossover, being in the air, and suddenly being on my side on the ground, my arm hurt, and my foot really hurt, and what had happened was I apparently tore ligaments in my foot, and uh, so that traumatized me with this whole, with this whole uh, crossover with travel step. Um, I'm very tentative about it. Um, so, yeah, that's why I hate the crossover step. I tore a bunch of ligaments. I don't even think I told my Highland teacher. I sat out in ballet for a while. Because, <laughs> you know, you know where my priorities are. <laughs> um... But yeah, I sat on in ballet. I don't think I told my Highland teacher at all, but I didn't do much practicing for a, for a, at least a month. And uh, it it hurt to stand on it. Um, it hurt to if it was purple and it hurt to press on it. So um, in modern, it was like you know stand like sitting on your knees and stuff impossible. But so that's my manly injury story. I went to do the crossover and blacked out, and suddenly I was on the floor. I tripped myself, I assume, because I didn't like pass out in the middle of a crossover. But yeah. Uh, anyways, so I had a championship in the competition this last weekend. And the championship, I got a sixth in the Chantreuse, which I was really, I was quite happy with because I was actually happy with my Chantreuse. Um, I got a fifth judge's placing in the Fling and the Sword. Um, which was cool because, you know, judges placings to me are like almost real placings. <laughs> I count judges placings as placings in my personal record book. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was great. Um, especially since I messed up my sword really badly. Uh, so, yeah, I missed one of the extensions in my reel, so I disqualified myself. I should have disqualified myself in the sword, but hey, if one of the judges didn't catch it because I pulled it off so smoothly, I mean, that's something to be proud of in and of itself. Um, so the, 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 the Saturday results, I was pretty happy with. Um, the Sunday, the competition, I didn't place, and I would have been fine with that if I thought that I had danced as well as I could have. But... I know for a fact that I didn't go to bed on time. I mean, I was in bed, but I kept, like, but I was, like, up reading until, like, 11, which wasn't good. And then in the morning, I didn't drink my whole smoothie. 
and I didn't have anything caffeinated. I didn't have my honey stingers. I was just off. I wasn't consuming anything because I was like, uh, dead because I stayed up too late the night before. It was a gong show. I was barely elevating. I was n I don't think I was trying as hard as I should have been trying. So, not happy with the, those results simply because I think I could have done a lot better. Like, a lot better. Especially in, like, the Sean Trues on the Sunday in the competition. Like, a 3-in-1 Sean Trues, you'd think that if I play 6 in the championship, I could, you know, place at all in a short Sean Trues, but... Anyways, rant over. That is a second rant in this vlog. Let's see how many rants we can get at. The point of this vlog is actually the dance-outs. Um, and today's whole thing, I was gonna vlog about what's been going on today. Let's get to the point, shall we? So, uh, the vehicle situation in my house is there are four drivers and three vehicles. So, what happened was my mom has to work today, my dad has to work today, and my brother has to work today. So, in order to get to my dance outs today, I had to take my mom to work. So I got up at 6 in the morning, which is really early for me. I know some of you school people are gonna be like, that's pathetic, that's late, that's sleeping in, and I know, I know, but to me, that is really early. And, uh, so I got up and I took my mom to work, couldn't sleep, so I, I, I'd had Starbucks, admittedly. If I really wanted to go back to sleep that bad, I wouldn't have gone to Starbucks. But, um, yeah, so I came home, did some cleaning, did some choreography work. Really love doing choreography work. I've come up with some great choreography in the last week, and I'm really proud of that. Anyways, I keep getting sidetracked. <sighs> So I had my dance out, I drove to my dance out, I thought I was in the wrong place so I stayed in my car until somebody else I knew showed up. Which they did, my teacher showed up and I was like, oh thank goodness. And I went in, I'd been having a really bad tick day so I was just like praying that my motilium would kick in. <laughs> Please motilium, don't let me tick. Um, and it did and I, I mean I ticked a couple times but it wasn't like it was on stage. Um, I'll talk more about, uh, I ticked in the reel, but I'll talk more about that on my tick, Ticks and Things channel, so if you want to check that out, it's Ticks and Things. So, look it up, and I'll talk more about ticking at competitions there. But, uh, anyways, sidetracked, again! Where was I? I went to the dance out, I did the jig, which was great, mostly, I kind of screwed up my diagonal travel step a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> as long as it wasn't in a premiership, that's one thing I really love about dance outs is that nobody really cares if you did it wrong. Because it's usually like today it was at a senior's home and everybody was like, probably like, oh, look at her. She's dancing. She's having fun. Good for her, you know? So... That was nice. That's one thing I love about dance outs. And then I did the Earl, which went surprisingly well. I was really happy with my Earl today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so, and then the fling, of course. Adorable little three-year-old girl did positions and skipping and step slides and it was so cute. It's always so cute when three-year-olds do Highland. Always. So, yeah. That is about my situation today, I'm doing a choreography in the dance out tonight, which should be a lot of fun. I love this choreography. Um, hopefully we're going to be doing it at Scott Dance, so in my pre-SDCCS vlog you might hear more about this choreography. But it's not quite pre-SDCCS time yet. I'm going to wait until June for that to happen. I know, it's such a long time to wait to do my pre-SDCCS vlog, but it doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to talk about pre-SDCCS. Speaking of pre-SDCCS, I'm getting off track again. 
Uh, the entry forms are supposed to come out today and the entry date is I think March 17th. I have my calendar marked, I have an alert on my phone, I don't know what time they're accepting entries at, but I'm going to be first one in for once. I'm always like fifth or sixth person to have entered and I'm just gonna type super fast this time. I'm gonna put on like my Google autofill and I'll be the- I'm gonna be first this year. <laughs> I'm gonna be the first number. I will be the I will be the last one up in my group. Mark my words. Anyways, uh, yeah. So this vlog is super long. Uh, it's nice to be back to uh, vlogging instead of doing a whole bunch of like video videos. I like vlogs. Not that I don't like video videos. Um, I'm gonna make a what's in my dance bag video very soon, as soon as I get the time. Um, and as soon as I don't have my dance bag packed for a dance out. So, we'll see you then! Uh, questions of this vlog. Do you love dance outs? Do you hate them? Do you do them? I know there's some girls in my class who don't do dance outs and I'm like, oh come on, they're so much fun! And question number two, are you going to Scott dance this year? It's never too early to ask, eh? <laughs> Anyways, farewell my fellow Highland dancers. I love you. Deidre loves you. Goodbye.